Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm El Jong. I am a portrait photographer and nightlife videographer based in Brooklyn, New York by way of Manila, Philippines. And I like reacting to recent releases of new camera gear. Almost a year ago, I made reaction videos uh, with regards to the Shimoda Urban Explorer camera backpack that they released, as well as the new Peter McKinnon Nomadic collaboration on the Luma collection. And I figured I'd do the same thing with another popular camera backpack brand that has just recently released uh, a new line of camera backpacks. Introducing Peak Design's outdoor backpack line. But before we react to their Kickstarter launch video, let's go through the general overview of what is included in the release of their camera backpack system. Nowadays, when camera backpack uh, manufacturers release new bags, it's no longer just different sizes and different styles. They have a system of both accessories, but also features that kind of complement and highlights and increases the value of that particular gear, the more of those particular pieces you buy together. The main things in this particular release are two sizes of backpacks, a 45 liter one and a 25 liter one. They also have a seven liter sling and a two liter sling. Right? So you have a variety of sizes, 45 for packing as many things as you can in there, both camera gear and non-camera gear, maybe clothes, maybe mountaineering accessories, a 25 liter gear for maybe the quick adventure, a couple of clothes, but also possibly do a daily carry kind of situation. Uh, the seven liter sling, if you are a minimalist, you can still put a, a small camera cube in there and a two liter system if you're just wanting a sling that is feature packed and sturdy. They have three colors that they came out with. This is the maroonish color is Eclipse. They have a black and then they have a white that they call cloud. They also include in this release ultra light packing cubes. So they have different sizes here. They have two versions of that. They have the Terra shell, the more tough, sturdy, water resistant shell, and then they have a, a nylon mesh version. So if you want to have your clothes to breathe a little bit more, that might be the one that you'll get. And then again, you can combine all of these both in size and color, however which way you want, which is a good and bad thing because you might have to buy multiple of these things to be able to create a set that is starter functional for you. This new backpack and sling set accepts their latest release of camera cubes. The size and its features meshes well with other Peak Design bags as well as this one that we're gonna get. What they really wanna highlight in this release is the camera system's versatility. Not only that you can have multiple organizational structures within it to customize to your needs, so you can get different sized camera cubes, match it with different sized ultralight packing cubes for your gear but a lot of those things can also be attached not only on the internal of the backpack but you can sling it on the outside so they have proprietary technology with their lashes and hooks and cinches to make that a little bit easier you want it to be comfortable so they spent a lot of time making sure that uh, for the big one, it has some internal structure to distribute the weight a lot more evenly. There's a lot of different harness places to make sure that your camera bag that you pick fits onto your body a lot more with a lot more access to different pockets and gear so that you can get to your stuff a lot quicker. They also wanted to highlight the materials. Again, gone are the days when the way that you protect your camera gear in, a, in your backpack is having like really this tough exterior. Usually those those things are rigid, they don't have play, they can't really stretch enough so even the padding might squish your your gear more than protect it. So they wanted the materials to be thin, lightweight but still tough. And of course I like that they're upfront that they really want to make their things look really good. And from what I'm seeing it really does. I'm skipping through some of these things, but I really just wanted to like highlight some of the, the major things that spoke to me when I read through the release. I want to reiterate the fabric so it's less rigid, but still tough and waterproof. They have this lash system so that you can attach things on the outside of your bag as well, depending on how you want to customize your things. To really highlight this is not just for photography. This is for photography and beyond. This is more of the outdoor stuff. So if you want to lash walking sticks, earth mats, sleeping bags, 
tents. Uh, there will be a lot of places where you can do so. We'll also see this ultra cinch backpack cloture system. This is super cool because they kind of combined a drawstring and a roll up uh, feature for uh, mountaineering or outdoor backpacks in one. It's easier access to your gear, but also a lot of ways to customize the external of your bag. They double the ergonomics of the backpack to not only provide us with better support, but better support usually means like, hey, let's do wider straps. Those wider straps now have built-in storage. You can have easier access to the gears that you want there. Maybe keys, maybe your sunglasses, maybe your phone. They also have lots of places where you can attach their peak design camera clip so you can have quicker access to your cameras. So yeah, we see this is one of the most advanced camera backpacks that you'll see out there. It has the latest technology in terms of camera backpacks, but again, it is a system. If you already have invested in a particular camera backpack system right now, makes it a little bit difficult to get this. On my end, because I'm not too much of an outdoor person, I cannot justify hopping onto this particular system. Even though I really, really like particularly the 45 liter one, I think that could be my long travel bag period, not just for camera stuff. That's the unfortunate things in terms of camera systems like this. However, I love the fact that they position this camera bag to be just outdoors. So it's equally useful for somebody that is an adventure person, no camera at all, and a camera person that may or may not have an adventure streak too. So that's the cool part of this. Like they have a wider audience in terms of the people that they can sell this new system to. It is a system that you can grow with. You can start with the big bag with just a couple of the organizational cubes, both the ultralight packing cubes as well as the camera cubes. And then as you kind of progress, you can you know, maybe get a few more ultralight packing cubes, maybe get a different size camera cube inside there, maybe add the sling so that you can strap it on the outside so you can build your arsenal like that. But in the end, you're going to have to buy multiple things to really maximize these features. I think that's, you know, a good quick primer onto the features of this particular camera backpack system. Let's dive into the reaction to And this is the Outdoor Line, a system of lightweight technical outdoor backpacks, slings, packing cubes, and camera cubes that together do things other outdoor bags can't. I think that's uh, a good way of framing it. It's lightweight and technical. So they really wanted to highlight the fact that they spent the technology on the fabric and the internal structure of the camera backpacks and its support to keep it lightweight and you know, leave the decision of organizing the insides up to you and your needs. That's actually not a big sell on me because to be honest, I like my camera backpacks to have some form of guidance on how to most optimally pack it. I'd rather have some basis on what is the best way to organize my dividers for one body, two bodies, a mirrorless, a big camera. But again, the reason why this is super cool is because it's the outdoor part that is they're pushing forward. We've been making bags for a decade and you've probably seen them. Far-flung airports, dusty trails, yeah. scenic lookouts. They've always been the breeze, cool looking versatile backpack slash camera the outdoor backpack. line begins. But this is, you know, they're it starts with a really push for the outdoors bags ever. The internally framed 45 liter outdoor backpack for gear heavy adventures and the 25 liter for traveling fast and light. What's a lot of these are just really outdoors, all, right? So it's um, not even like no more camera centric suspensions on these. True comfort comes from fit. So we left our mm -hmm. harness low profile and maximized its ability to conform and adjust. Waist chest shoulder um, adjustment harness, wide straps to really, really conform to a lot of people's bodies to really distribute that way. To work with your body, not against it. A single hyper adjustable harness system fits a more inclusive range of body types than any bag we've ever tested. And in true so outdoor say, bag fashion, more inclusive range of body types. So male, female, short, tall, 
thin fat, so that's really, really good because I'm, I'm on the shorter end myself. Over a far greater surface area, they also let you keep your most important items right up front, like your Smart. camera. White straps, capture attachment points for phones, glasses, but also weight distribution, places to put additional one capture clips, strap, and one on the belt. Three, you can put three, Once so one on each shoulder strap and on the belt if you don't have that capture clip system. Carrying less, the hip belt stows away. That's Next, cool. there's the access, where you get the best of both worlds. Lightning fast access on top and total visibility on the back. We weren't happy with So when you say access, that's a, a good way of showing it is, okay, we can they have that, that cinch system up top. So it's easier to open and close if you're digging things from top, but it's a really, really wide mouth on the back as well. So you can really see all your gear once it's flat on the ground. With the drawstrings and roll tops out there. So we invented our own. It's called Ultra Cinch. And so drawstring plus roll top equals Ultra Cinch. It allows one-handed opening, quick pull closure, and loads of expansion for more gear. On the one, so now I'm seeing it in action, it looks really cool. So you can just open the top part, um, or X, and it's again, it's it opens in stages. So if you're using the excess uh space up top and filling it to the brim for the roll top, you can do that as well, but you can still use it in one hand. The back, a huge rear hatch lets you see and access everything. Brilliant feature for packing and unpacking and access Most to their, creative kits. Most of their, I like that they're evenly distributing Inside, like space for your camera stuff and, and non-camera stuff. Your so you're, you you can really just use this if you're a, a climber or a mountaineering a person. Or a tablet. And the ladder. On the sides and the front create a seemingly endless expanse of quick access storage. See, that's cool too. So because they're flex pockets, you're not limited to a rigid size. So you can really stuff it if you want to, um, but if you don't have it stuffed, it's still flushed uh, into the backpack. So it makes it a lot more, you know, a lot more compact, a lot more cool. And then there's the external carry system. We call it cord hook. And mm -hmm. these backpacks take it to the next level. Cinch straps, elastic gear loops, and a network of cleverly concealed attachment so now that I'm looking at it even more, so that is an endless combination of things to cinch to or attach or loop around external of your bag. So uh, there's a network of kind of pipes where you can snake in these cords and the end of the cords has the hook. So you can hook it in and of itself or you can hook other stuff to this particular cinches or these particular latch lashes. So that's how you can lash the, the ultralight packet cubes. Turn your backpack shell into a blank canvas for carrying more and organizing it better. Yep. Sometimes it's about moving fast with just the essentials. And that's why we designed the outdoor sling. Uh, this a is two liter for the minimalist and a seven kind of standard sling features. Like, uh, we've Both seen a lot of these body, features in other camera bags as well, bag even with really the stabilizers, tight. but are you the it's still good if you don't type? have it yet. The larger sling might be for you. Gear loops let you carry more. Rear panel stowage ensures you never That's have That's a cool part though. It's like if you don't need set. those carrying a camera, lashes, add an you can small stow it away. And create the perfect minimalist camera bag. Inside, stretch pockets sequester the small stuff. A few on the two liter and more on the seven liter. Okay, I like stretch Outside, pockets. A padded drop pocket with a magnetic clasp protects your phone or other essentials. Easier access for your Think phone, of the magnets. As a wing bag for you and for the outdoor backpack. Both you can stuff can those slings inside the bag. Convert to a chest mounted pouch, keeping gear or your camera right up front. So I think that's I think that's one of the best ways that you can combine these is if you have a load loads and loads of stuff uh, for mountaineering and camping on your backpack, but you have this extra chest pouch for you know a couple, you know a small camera bag or a small camera and a couple of things. So you'll have best of both worlds again. Super geared to the outdoorsy. This is not what we see in other camera bags that it is just, it's a camera bag with additional protection so that you can be a little rough with it. No, this is 
This is mountaineering. This is outdoors. But you can customize it so that you can have a bit of camera in it. I might not be the audience for this, but there will be a lot of people that will be utilizing the system just for the outdoorsy stuff. But the backpacks and slings, those are just the start. Packing tools give you an organizational system. No two adventures are the same, and your bag should be able to handle it all. I'm and a big fan packing of tools. It can. Small Both organizers in my suitcase. Create brilliant modular organization inside and out. That's cool. Clothes, gear, food, three convenient sizes, four brilliant colors. I might actually just get materials. these just one for to things pack that need to stay for every dry, day, right? And one for things that need to dry out. So there's a two versions. Pop so on a cord hook carry strap and your pack. Breathable and non breathable. A sling. Right? So tougher if and you're less carrying tough. a camera. You'd better believe we got you covered. Our bags were designed to work seamlessly with Peak Design camera cubes to become the most capable line of outdoor camera bags on the planet. Five sizes to support any kit from a drone or basic mirrorless kit all the way up to a full-blown professional setup. Yeah. Proprietary flex fold dividers, insulated weatherproof construction, tuck away lids give you instant access so you'll never miss a shot. Whether you're a professional outdoor photographer, a casual shooter, or you don't even carry a camera at all, this system go. can be tailored to your needs and grow with you in the future. The outdoor line is a culmination of everything we've learned in a decade of bag development. No off the shelf hardware in these bags. Every touch point custom developed. It does show. Adjusters, it is really developed buckles, from an evolution of all of the different camera bags. Every material, lightweight, and high performance. Whether and I think that's the, the, the ripstop the, the, nylon is PU coated, abrasion resistant, PFAS free, and 100% recycled. When Mother Nature's at her worst, an optional seam taped rain fly gets you through it unscathed. So double protection. So it's already waterproof. You can foam, add more with the rain fly. And provides comfort without extra bulk. Even the zippers are peak design exclusive. Fastened That's with good ultra to know. high molecular weight polyethylene thread, Peak Design Ultra Zips are weatherproof. Yeah. I always had a problem with my decades zippers breaking because ultra I thread can carry also heavy bags. In gear so. loops, external carry straps, I like that they've done ultra cinch backpack a more practical way with these. Uh, and like every Peak Design product, thread. every outdoor bag and packing tool is guaranteed for life. We're Peak right. Design, and for 14 years, the outdoors has been our playground. It's also been our laboratory. It's where we've had our best ideas, made our favorite memories, and reconnected as a team and as friends. Right, it's nice to see a little bit of like to protect who it, pushed our bodies to uh, experience it. Who and makes this stuff? So they are to seem like a good family. For so. a company that was thought up on the road, named after the mountains, and proven in wild environments the world over, it's high time for some bags made specifically to get outside. Thanks for your support. See you out there. Thank you for walking through that launch video with me. And again, it really shows that this is for the outdoors. This is for the outside. Again, I am not the number one demographic for that, particularly because one, I already have a camera system. And two, I, I do outdoorsy stuff, but not as often as I would like. However, in diving deep into gear like this, if I have backpacks like this, it will encourage me to go out more because it is not just for camera. It is just not for outdoor. It really can just grow with you and what you need. They are silent though, when, when you say that you can grow as you need because every single piece of this you're going to have to buy on your own. So that is the drawback to the system. So to really, really maximize those multiple features, you really just can't start with one or two. Like you really need to get a backpack. You really need to get a couple of those ultralight packing cubes, maybe even a couple of those camera cubes as well. And then most of the time you won't be needing all of them all at the same time, right? So sometimes it might be just all packing cubes. If you're just traveling, maybe a camera cube and a packing cube. That's kind of the drawback with a uh, feature pack camera bags like this tends to get really, really expensive and you tend to not 
put all of the stuff that you buy in there all at the same time. So because one, it's not going to fit. And two, it's just like, yeah, that the point of it is the, the modular system around it. However, just like, you know, quickly, we're going to go through like go through the package and my quick suggestions on what you guys should really, really look into. Again, the two liter sling, I skip this. I think it's too small. There are a lot of useful or cute small camera slings fanny pack out there the seven liter is uh something that you'd want to start at so it's a seven liter with an extra small camera pack so if, again if you're a minimalist photographer you have street photography here or there or you just uh, are out for a short hike this is something that i would look into i think that's a good deal you know i like the white maybe the eclipse as well that those probably very cool so that might be the bundle that you want but that bundle is 110 bucks so a seven liter sling is 110 bucks. That's not cheap. I think the next uh, set of features that you'd want to look at is the actual backpack features, right? To really maximize the savings, you need to get a package. So the first package that you'll see here is the 25 liter photo bundle. So it's a 25 liter backpack with three ultralight packing cubes, which is super cool, and a medium, a small medium camera cube. So this is where I would really start. So if you are in a short adventure with a bit of gear, this is perfect. You can have the backpack, you can have the camera cube and maybe one uh, small ultralight packing cube, or maybe a couple of ultralight packing cubes and then a smaller camera bag. So I think this is the module that you need to start with to really enjoy the features of this package. But this starts at 300 bucks. So that is a steep price for a 25 liter backpack, anywhere from 18 to 25 liter camera backpacks that you could use everyday carry or in some trips or an adventure will start around 250 to like 320. So this is around the middle there. But again, if you're starting off or if you're ready to switch to peak design and commit to this particular brand, this is a great starting point. If you are an outdoors person, if you're an outdoor photographer, you're an adventure photographer, you're a landscape photographer, you do a lot of trips. I think that this 45 liter bundle is exactly for you. You get the 45 liter backpack uh, with all the technology and support there. You get a large camera cube who can stuff a lot of stuff in there. And again, three ultralight packing cubes. The thing with here is like, I think to optimize this, you get a medium camera cube so that you can also use the ultralight packing cubes. Like you don't want to stuff your entire 45 liter backpack with just camera stuff. So I think uh, that way you can have a happy medium and it'll force you to not bring too many things. Right now, if I didn't have uh, a, a different, bigger camera backpack, uh, I'm going on a trip to the Philippines in the end of the year. I wish I had this. And this is something I would really, really like to to use and review as well in the future. Although although the 25 liter combo, I think is the most day-to-day -day use for something that will be able to use more on a day-to-day -day basis, on a short trip to short trip basis. I think the best bang for the buck is the 45 liter photo bundle. And they also do have this fearsome foursome bundle where you'll get both backpacks, both sides of, of slings, but then you'll have to add the ultralight packing cubes and the camera cubes there. I don't think that is the most prudent route unless you're a, a, a big peak design fanboy and then you are doing not only a lot of trips, but also a lot of different trips because you're going to have to add more to get the organizational system. You know, if I had to rank this, I'd go with the 25 liter photo bundle, right? And then close second would be the 45 liter photo bundle, like for really, really long trips. So that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for hanging out, talking this through with me, reviewing this new release. I'm a big fan. I hope to be able to work with these products more in the future, take them through its paces. Although like, again, I'm not so much of an adventure, but I do have trips here and there. I think there's still a, a world where this can be more of like an everyday carry bag that is just tough and rugged and modular. So hopefully it helps you make your decision whether you're going to back this project. And if you do, let me know what you think, what made you decide to get either the 25 or the 45 liter, what sort of combinations are you looking to use with them? would love to discuss. So we'll see you guys in the comment. I'll also see you guys in the next video. Bye.